Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I wanted to share with you a small haul that I made with Goose Creek candles. Now this time I only ordered Christmas candles. I only order four. Generally that's usually the number that I order. This one was a buy two get two so I bought two. To be, to explore, to be adventuresome I ordered their Christmas scents instead of ordering backups which after I smell them may or may not have been a good thing but let me get started I will begin with here it is a Christmas winter splendor and one thing I like that Goose Creek does do the pretty labels of course they say Goose Creek on top the only thing I wish is that these little the name of the candle were a little bit bigger it's very tiny but it's a beautiful picture red candle two wick these are 26 ounces of paraffin wax and i will read you the scent description and if any a lot of these have stories in front of them i'm just going to get to the nitty gritty of what the candle is instead of the whole thing so this one says the cool this is a cool winter scent with red berries cinnamon vanilla bean uh, white cedar and smoky firewood. I smell cinnamon. I smell berries. You do smell firewood. I don't know about the cedar yet. Vanilla bean, maybe a tweak. It's a very light scent, but I don't know if it's going to be a sweet scent. I was, when I ordered this, I was a little hesitant with this one, basically because. Um, I didn't want to duplicate the scent that is this one, Yankee Berry, you know, Yankee Candle, Red Berry, and Cedar. I thought, oh, maybe it smells almost identical. Let's go a little different because it is red berries, but red berry and cedar, do you do smell berries and you do smell cedar? This has a stronger note to the cedar and the woods. I think the two scents that are in here, if they say red berry and cedar, you can smell them. There's not a big mix like the other one goose creek we're going to compare we shall see i'll let you know next up is i have to be careful i have these all on, on the sofa uh this is christmas tree cutting very pretty picture two people carrying a cut down tree filled with snow it looks very pretty this is a green candle wow let me get to this one too uh, Christmas tree cutting, a mix of sparkling fresh fir needles, eucalyptus, brisk winter mint opens with this aromatic fragrance. Cedar wood and oak moss combine for a holiday fragrance experience. You do get the pine needles. You do get the mint. I hope, and you get a bit of the cedar wood. I hope it throws well. It's nice. The oak moss, I have to be a little careful with. Sometimes when a candle has oak moss, oak moss has a tendency to overpower a couple of the things. So we'll see about this one. But you never know. You never know. Ah, a classic. Balsam fir. Now, if you hear a little bit of rattling, that's my cat. I have paper all over the place from things that I purchased. And he's having a really good time making noise, but there it is. Balsam fir. Classic, classic. This one has a simple, simple description. A walk along the forest path where the scent of fresh pine needles fills the air. Believe it or not, I like it. It's as simple, as classic as could be. Yes, it does smell like like woods it just smells like clean fresh woods pine it's really simple it's really nice and sometimes i i like the simplicity of a candle if it just says something and that's all it's going to give me it's good better if it throws well and it's not overpowering it's even better and the, the number four hi people so there's sometimes where are you there are times that when you get a candle, you ask yourself, when you smell it, what the heck did I do? What are you going to do? And here is that candle, A Christmas Story. 
This is like a bluish green almost. Dark, dark color. I'm going to read you the scent description. This has a whole long little thing in front of it. I'm just going to get to the nitty gritty, whatever it's supposed to have in it. This is a cool balsam scent with notes of pine, orange blossom, and caramel musk. When I read that scent description, my big fear place was the orange blossom. I kept thinking, I don't like orange blossom. I don't, I don't, I don't. I called up customer service and I specifically asked her three times, does it smell like orange blossoms? And of course, what is she going to say to me? No, you don't smell any orange blossom. No, no, don't worry. You're going to like it. Orange blossom. Orange blossom. Orange blossom. I don't even know if I smell any kind of woods in it. The funny thing about this one, I think either this one or tree cutting is one of the first ones that they, for this year, a new one for this year. If you like florally scents and you like orange blossoms, there you go. A Christmas story. And the picture's so pretty too. Big Christmas tree in someone's home. Quite lovely. Beautiful. No. No. Oh. I have to tell you, anytime you buy, and you know this, anytime you buy candles from a website that you can't personally smell, like Yankee, like, you know, a, maybe Village when you go to the Home Goods, or Village when you go to your grocery store, or Bath and Body Works, it's nice to have the opportunity to smell it. You get your first take, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. But when you read a website description, yeah, it's like uh, you're taking a chance. Well. I took a chance on not only the scent description, but even someone telling me, no, it's not orange blossom. It happens. It can't be all perfect. What can I say? Hmm. Now, not a good thing. Anyway, I am going to tell you what happened besides the customer service call that I made about orange blossom. That it does have, anyway, um, the, there were other things that I asked, I talked about with her. Um, I asked her about Harvest Hayride, and this is the third call I made about this. Harvest Hayride, I had reviewed for you, and I told you that the scent is very, very good, but it has no throw, none, none. And I burned it. I want to burn it because I want to get rid of the jar and finish it off. Now I've been burning it and see this soot that's collected at the top, basically because it's at the very end, there's a lot of soot, terrible. I just cleaned it before I burnt this candle too, but you get a lot of soot with these candles. This candle, it had gone all the way down to liquid. It did, it melted all the way down. I put out the wicks with my uh, wick dipper that I showed you and the wicks were moving around because it happens when it goes down to liquid, the wick dipper is gonna, it's not going to work as well as when it, there's more of a solid base. Anyway, I was trying to think this whole weekend, what could I do with this candle? I want to finish it off, but I want to know if there's any scent that comes out of it. And I know some, some of you have written that they've taken their Bath and Body Works candles and they've set them down on the, you know, the hot plate wax melter and they get extra fragrance because sometimes, sometimes Bath and Body Works wicks, they they go away and village candle I already told you yes they 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 don't disappear but if you have problems with the candle people put them on wax melters but there was another method that I wanted to try and I went to my Boscoves today going down I'm going down I went to Boscoves today and I got this thing which is a candle warmer crock now, a candle warmer crock, you've seen them. They look like basically crock pots for candles. And you put a candle inside and the candle warmer crock will, it's electric, will heat up all the wax and it's supposed to allow the wax to melt all the way, liquefied, but the throw is going to be there. In a way, I wanted one of these because sometimes in my bedroom, I... I mean, I want to burn a candle, but I'm a little hesitant because of my cat and because of, you know, this draperies and I get a little nervous with it. But if I want to leave something on all the time and not worry about fire, 
I figured let me try this and there is where I'm gonna go with this. I am hoping that this candle harvest hayride, which is at its little tiny nothings left, after I put it in here, I'm gonna clean that soot off. Maybe the scent will throw better, but at least I'll get the last bits and pieces of it. With this and any other candle that either the wicks disintegrate, dissolve, fall apart, go away, you can put your large jar in there and you can melt the candle. The only thing I warn you about when you put those things in there, if it does have wicks, you know the wicks are just gonna go into the wax, I believe. So, but I'm gonna try that. And when I try that, I'm gonna let you know whether or not I got anything more from this Harvest Hayride. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And take care. Bye-bye.